Right now, if you're going to be out for lunch, just make sure you try to stay cool by drinking plenty of fluids as we are dealing with plenty of sunshine, just a couple clouds, and our Key West camera is showing a mix of sun and clouds. As we take a look at the radar and satellite, boy, it is storming down through the lower keys. So right now, we're seeing some lightning, some thunder, and that's also seeing some heavy downpours through Big Pine Key, Kajo Key, and Key West. The wind right now, common homestead, but elsewhere about six, seven miles an hour. Look at these numbers. 90 92 in Pompano Beach, 90 in Fort Lauderdale and Kendall, 90 in Marathon. That's not all. When you factor in the high humidity, we are talking feels like temperatures in the triple digits already for Fort Lauderdale and in Marathon because it's so steamy. And if you think it's hot here, look at the low to mid 80s in New York City and D.C., 91 in Memphis, and look at the 90s in Kansas City and Denver. The actual temperature is warmer than here in South Florida, low 90s in Vegas and Phoenix, too. Yeah, certainly feel like summer across much of the U.S. with that heat heat wave for us 90 degrees and again already feeling like the hundreds so keep the umbrella handy as we head into 1 2 p.m. similar to yesterday the models indicating those showers and storms popping up here and there and looks like some heavier rain possible around 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. unfortunately right now the evening rush is looking very soggy and we could see some heavy downpours and flooding and then we'll start to quiet things down not until later tonight a low risk of recurrence at the beach the UV index is extreme so don't forget the sunscreen either and both Orders wind southeast 5 to 10 knots, seas 1 to 2, a light chop on the bays. For tonight, some storms, warm and muggy, 77 degrees. And all this green is showing that that high level of moisture will stick around through tomorrow. It's not until Saturday and Sunday that slightly drier and some Saharan dust could be working its way into South Florida. And that means as we head into your Friday, there could be a few less storms, but really Saturday and Sunday, we'll see that rain chance decrease a bit, but highs will continue to soar through the low 90s all the way through next week into the 4th of July holiday on Wednesday.